Ames is one of the most acclaimed, reputed and one of the finest medical college in the country. Its repute is quite legendary and in the eyes of many students, this is the ultimate education when it comes to medicine. Ames gives admission to students into their colleges through their own entrance examination. There are lakhs and lakhs of children preparing for this examination and working very hard to get into the reputed legendary Ames. But only a few make it. Why? Because of this cut throat competition. So if you have to get into Ames, if you want to do something nice, reputed of that form, then the competition has to be great. The study has to be great and you must be having the competitive edge. I'm going to give you a secret how you're going to crack the Ames examination. It's by reading the right books for the right time. It's about knowing the entire NCRT. It's not about reading many books and it's not just about sitting for long hours if you're not having a structured sitting plan. The plan is very important. So for your sake in the description I'm going to write down the important books that you must be referring to this course when you're preparing for your AIMS examination. So the important topics of AIMS 2017 would be biology. In biology you have semantics, genetics, cells, ecology and human health, disease and especially the these are the topics which are very important. Now, when it comes to chemistry, you must know that general organic chemistry, which is an extremely important topic, hydrocarbons, equilibria, chemical bonding, uh, these are also very important. But do not forget P block elements, thermochemistry, do not forget all these topics. In physics, modern physics, waves, heat and thermodynamics, ray optics, etc., uh, very important. Go through the past question papers, uh, pick out the keys of those question papers, find out the trends in those question papers, and um, get it going. The AIMS examination is a computer-based examination and it's online. They're going to ask you 200 questions. This is MCQ base and uh, a reason assertion type of questions. Uh, for every right answer that you make, you get a mark and for every mistake that you make, you will be punished by one third of that mark. So uh, you've got to stay your focus, keep it up. Uh, you've got to be knowing the concepts well and um, save those one third marks by not making the mistakes. So be very sure when you're writing what you're writing. And well, all this you'll have to be doing in three and a half hours. That's the time slot for the AIMS examination. 11th grade right now, and if you're listening to this video, I'm saying you have a lot of time. Plan well only with your NCRT book and don't go beyond or don't get stressed or baffled with a lot of information available everywhere. If you're already in the 12th right now, then um, it's great. You have more focus time, but do not miss on certain concepts uh, which comes from the 11th standard background. Some of these concepts are, are the backbone, like the mole concept concept or certain parts they're very very important from the 12th point of view there is no going to the aims if you don't know your 11th properly and if you finished your 12th examination and you just have little days left for your aims then boy you are under tremendous pressure to sit for a good eight hours of self-study remember going to your tuition class or coaching class is not self-study period so sitting down and studying is your self-study period and that's what determines your AIMS percentage, percentile, and that de determines whether you're getting into AIMS or not. Now, very importantly, you must be listening to this. If you stumble, which you will, you should be able to go to a coach, a mentor, a teacher, sit with them, understand the areas, the, the stones on which you stumbled, and get up, learn those mistakes, and make tell yourself that you're not going to repeat those mistakes. What is the point? You make a mistake in a particular MCQ, and then even after two papers, you make the same mistake. Grow, grow. When I say grow, what I mean is, don't make the same mistakes the second time. And when you study, the studying methodology is going to be important. So which means you're reading an NCRT syllabus and when you read something, you say, oh, this is important. So whatever is important, mark the keywords. You don't have to remember the whole paragraph if you can remember those four right appropriate keywords. Find out if that topic has come in the past papers. If yes, then that's important. Work more hard, work more time on it, give more time for it. Find out what are the application-based questions which has come or can come from those topics and highlight them, make the charts properly make a book where you, you're writing down things so that every time you revise, you don't have to revise the same things over and over again. You can revise more from those topics. You can revise in less time. So all these charts and books and marking and highlighting and mind maps and all these parameters will only help you ensure to reduce time in your revision so that you can probably come to a position where you can finish the entire syllabus in nine hours. We've got a product which says revise 
in nine hours. So whatever you're doing one day before the examination, you may be given this nine hours. So how do you revise the whole curriculum in nine hours is when you have your own notes, your own uh, underlined and highlighted methods and, and uh, materials with you. So what is the difference between NEAT and AIMS? NEAT has a lot of seats. It's a national curriculum. Uh, it's a national uh, college and all, all of the colleges are across the country participates into it. But AIMS is exclusively for AIMS alone. Uh, it is set by AIMS alone. AIMS is a lot tougher, more reputed than. It's like, it's like the, the ultimate destination for medical students. Students write and they say, you know, last year some of these students wrote to us and told us that sir, AIMS is of high repute and legendary, extremely legendary. Uh, you should really, if, if you are the, on the medical journey and if you, if AIMS is one of your goal, I think you should stay put with that goal and get into it straight. AIMS has lesser seats as compared to NEAT. It's undoubtedly the tough league of the medical examination. But in the end, what matters is your confidence, your perseverance, your ability to stay put till the end and your preparation matters. It's you which is tougher and bigger than AIMS. Not that AIMS is bigger and tougher than you. You've got your things right in the right place and if you're doing it the right way, I think no AIMS will be difficult. Not for you, not for anyone. It's the approach that's important. Undoubtedly, again, I'm saying that AIMS is tough. It's competitive. But do you have the competitive edge?